Hello friends! Wow, it has been a while. First and foremost, happy 2024. I can't believe it's a new year. I unintentionally took two weeks off of YouTube. It was the holidays, I was with family, and I had a break from work. And I feel like usually when I'm not working my primary job, I still continue with YouTube. I'm filming, I'm editing, I'm doing all the background work, and then I don't feel super well rested. So for me, it was just important for me to like actually fully have time off and take that to just like recover and feel rejuvenated and ready to dive back in once the new year came around but i did take a little bit more time than i wanted but we're here and i'm fresh and ready to go for this new year so with the new year i've already gone ahead and got rid of all of my holiday decorations and i was looking around and it felt like super bare without them but i was glad to have them all put away but because of that i like started kind of rearranging things not too much but I wanted to share with you a few updates and then I want to go ahead and also do some decorating with you guys so we are going to be switching things up just a little bit in here because I don't know I like to do this seasonally and I feel like it helps to refresh your space I've been in this apartment for almost two years I just got my lease renewal agreement and I don't know I'm feeling like it's time for me to switch things up so I'll go ahead and show you the few things that I've already done and then we will get started very quickly, you can see here that I pretty much took away all the decor. My winter village is gone, which actually made me quite sad, but it was time. And I took away the pine cones. I like put my geodes back and it's just a clean slate again, back to how it was. The main change in the living room is that I took this cordless lamp that I had on my windowsill before and I put it here in this like dinette space. And I love the way that it looks. I feel like when you go to a nice restaurant at night or like a lounge space, they usually have some sort of lighting in the middle of the table, whether that be a candle or a lamp. And this one is perfect for here because it is cordless. So you just press that button, it charges, it's amazing, I love it. I will have it linked in the description box. But that's pretty much the only change that I did here, but it really makes a difference and I'm so happy that I put that there. Now the room is where I really wanna play around with the decor and kind of switch things up a bit. And I already started just a little bit because I moved this lamp over here. So I don't think I told you guys this, but I finally went through with it and purchased my Kindle. I got it for myself as a Christmas gift and I have not regretted it. I'm already on book four of 2024 and we're still only in January. So I've definitely been getting a lot of reading done and it's just so lightweight, so compact. I can easily bring it anywhere with me. And the primary reason that I wanted it is just because I was running out of space to store my books. I still prefer to read on like a traditional paperback book, but it just wasn't so practical for me to like keep them in my apartment when I don't have that much space. And I typically don't even go back and reread books that I've already read so for me it just makes sense to have a kindle i finish the book and i move on um so because of that because i've been doing a lot more reading it didn't make sense for me to have the lamp right next to this cabinet because i was constantly seeing the glare of the light anytime i was reading in my bedroom and i really didn't like that i know with kindle you can read without light but i just prefer if i'm trying to like focus on a book to have it be in like an ambient setting i don't know because i feel like if i'm reading at night where all the lights are off i'm gonna fall asleep <laughs> so i wanted to remove the lamp so that i didn't see that glare all the time as you saw i found a home for it here and then because of that i ended up moving my olive tree next to this cabinet so i have that there and and then i didn't want those two plants next to each other so i've also brought my snake plant over and initially i wasn't sure how i felt about this setup but the more i have it here i love it i think it's perfect and i just i love everything my snake plant also gets better lighting here because of the windows they like shine the light directly to it so it's perfect. The olive tree here is also just a really nice decorative touch. So I'm very happy with that. Now, what we have to do today is because I have this lamp here, I want to move my bedside table lamp. As you can see, they're literally spaced like two feet apart and that just doesn't make sense. So I wanna move this one. Also, it doesn't produce as much lighting as this one. If you can see, this one has like two 
bulbs and they're both LED lights so they're nice and bright but this lamp is just one and it doesn't do much for me so it's really like meant to be a bedside lamp I just got to figure out another space for it because it, it just doesn't make sense this looks kind of silly so we're gonna change that also <laughs> above this dresser I used to have it styled and now it's just become a zone where I like throw junk or any leftover decor or anything it's just not looking cute it's not styled it's not great so we're gonna fix that today as well and i want to see how much i can get done with things that i already have i have been storing decor pieces in my apartment cabinets for as long as i've lived here um just because i like to rotate things like i said and sometimes i just get tired of seeing the same pieces out but because of that it helps me to be able to like bring out things that I haven't had in months and then it like feels a little fresh in the space so I'm gonna try to do as much as possible with things that I already have. I do intend on doing a little like home decor shop soon so maybe I can bring in some new pieces but for now I want to see what I do have first before I shop and like spend money so let's go ahead and get right to it. First things first I've been thinking about where I can put this lamp and I think I actually came up with the perfect space so first let me go ahead and unplug it so that it's nice and ready to go i don't know if you guys remember but i do have this little mini table over here from target i ended up just stuffing it behind my bed here because that was the only space i had for it but right now the current way that it's styled is just with this bowl a candle and then i just like threw this um fabric refresher spray. I usually just use this to spray on my pillows and sheets at night and it smells pretty good. But with these things here, you can't even see the decor on top of it so it doesn't even make sense. So instead, because I still want this like somewhat close to my bed just for like dimmer lighting, this lamp does have a dimmer which I really like about it. I'm gonna try and see if it works on this little table. That way I still have the option to have lower lighting and it's right by my bed but then it's not like so close to that lamp i think i like it here let me plug it in yay it works okay i've never actually used this outlet that's over here that's why i wanted to make sure it still worked but i really like the lamp here i think i'm gonna keep it here and now we got to figure out what's going on with this nightstand firstly i definitely have to clean her because she's a little dusty but i also want to figure out what i can add now that it's a little bit more bare so let's just start by taking everything off we're gonna wipe it down and then figure out what we want to do let's get to decorating i think i still want to stick with these two home decor books but rather than have them like this i want to turn them around that way you can see the spines and we'll move them to this side rather than this side i might have to switch them because this book is a little wider than this one even though i do like the top cover of this is home i'm just gonna do this for now you can always switch it up later and then i do want something that adds some height on this side so let's see what i can bring in so i have this candle holder i'm sure you guys remember it this used to be in my living room before i put out my christmas decorations um but i think it's the perfect item to put right here next to those books so I'm gonna start with that. And then before I had this travertine like marble bowl from Target on top of these books, but I'm feeling like that's too matchy matchy. So I'm gonna go back to this small bowl. This one is from H&M Home. And I'm gonna put that on top and bring in that little bubble candle again. Actually, scratch this. I'm not liking this book on top. I just feel like it's too neutral. So I want it on the bottom and then i brought in this book from the living room and this one's just gonna go on top and then we're gonna put this on okay good i like that this also matches my blue sheets that i currently have on the bed so this is good 
I used to have these gold coasters on that travertine tray before, so I thought I would try it here, but I don't like them anymore. I think they're too like brassy, so I'm gonna try something else. I'm toying with the idea of putting these back on the nightstand, but I'm trying to figure out if it's too much like color, like pink, blue, purple. Does it clash or does it go well? Can't tell. Okay, never mind. I think I'm changing my mind again, but that's the whole point of playing with decor. You figure out what you like and it's all about experimenting. So I brought in this vase. I used to have this in the living room as well. I repainted it, it's from Target. And I think I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit more neutral, light. This is the nightstand, so I want it to be calm. And I also don't want it to be too cluttered because I wanna be able to like put my drink down, my water or my Kindle if I have to. So I think I like this. We're gonna keep this like it is and let's move on to the dresser. is completely cleared off and it looks so empty here and I've just been toying with the idea of having like a gold ornate mirror just like resting against this wall because I do have a tall ceiling in this apartment and I just feel like a mirror would open it up and not make it feel so busy I don't know you know like mirrors reflect light then I was like is it weird that the mirror is directly across from my window like would people across from me be able to see I don't know, it just feels weird. Tell me what you think. Is that like proper feng shui? I was thinking about that. I obviously don't have a gold ornate mirror just lying around, so I can't do that. But if you guys think it's a good idea, I might buy one because I initially thought about that when I first moved in. And then I was like, no, I have enough mirrors in the apartment. I'm thinking about it again. So let me know what you think. For now, we will decorate it with what we have. I don't want it to be this like clutter zone like it was. So I have to really be intentional about what I put up here. Let me think, let me bring some stuff out and I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I brought this frame over. When I don't have mirrors, I usually go for art prints or frames. So I'm bringing this one over. It's from Decenio and we'll just lean it up against the wall there. That already gives it some height. Now I have to think about what I want for this side. I feel like I kind of liked that tray that I had. Or maybe I can bring in the travertine bowl. Hmm, let's try both. Here's the gold tray. <laughs> Let me take a step back. Yeah, I still like it, but this print does have like that natural wood, so Maybe it doesn't go so well. Hmm. All right, let's try the travertine bowl for now since I did have this little mirrored tray there before. Question is, what do we do around it? Ugh, you guys, I'm so used to layering with books. I need to put a book down. <laughs> Even though I literally have books everywhere, I think they're just necessary. And it kind of fills out the space a little bit better. Then I do have this gorgeous candle from H&M Home, Eucalyptus Verbena. It smells delightful. I've only lit it a couple of times, but oh my goodness, it's so good. All right, that'll be there. And now I'm thinking about whether or not I can just quit while I'm ahead. I like how minimal this is. I like how clean, effortless it looks, but you know me, I also love decor. <laughs> so let's see, we'll sit with it for a little bit and I might add or change it later. Now for the living room, I didn't really have too much that I wanted to do outside of like filling in some of the gaps left behind from my winter Christmas decor. But now that I see it, it just looks so neutral and that's usually my style, but I want to add some color. Even if it's very subtle, I wanna add some color. And I think I might be able to do that with some of the decor that was left over from my room. 
So let me show you everything that I have. Here is most of the stuff that I didn't use from my bedroom. And I feel like these can definitely be utilized out here in the living room space. And maybe we can throw in that curvy vase. We'll see. Um, but right now, like I have this vase that's clear. It's not doing anything for this area. So I'm going to remove that. Here I just have like my plants on the windowsill. It's looking bare. That's not so exciting to the eye there. So we got to figure something out. guys i've had this planter empty for the past probably year or so um the reason being i used to have this pothos in there actually before i repotted it and it was like dying the leaves were yellow and brown it did not like being over there because it didn't get that much light however i want to put this spider plant up there because I just feel like it looks so silly empty like that. Like the other one is thriving. It's doing so well up there. And I want to try the spider plant. My spider plant is very happy where it is, but but I need something to fill this pot. So I think we're going to do that. If it doesn't like it, I could always move it back. But for now, let's try it. She's perfect there. It's like she was meant to be there this whole time. And I already had that hung up, so why not utilize it? I am very happy with that. Not too much has changed with the living room, but it looks good, so I'm just going to live with it. I replaced the geode bowl because I've just had it for so long. I was tired of it. Put this plant here. Added this candle instead of, what did I have here before? I don't even remember, but oh, I had that clear vase there. I just didn't love what it was doing for the space, so I changed that. Then here on the windowsill, I just put these two books with that little duo of um, vases there. And I don't know, you can't really see it that much, but it does something. And then you saw I put the plant up here. We'll talk about all this later. I gotta figure out what to do with all this extra stuff that I didn't use. In the bedroom, as you saw, I put the lamp over there and then switched up my nightstand styling, which I love, it looks very serene. Here is what the dresser on the other side looks like. I just added this like chain link there, just as a little bowl filler. I might change that, but so far so good. And that's really it. Sorry, my bed is looking a little funky. I was climbing on top of it to get that lamp over there, but I really love how everything turned out. So thank you for going on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed watching me just play around with my space, switch things up a little bit. And um, now I've got to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff because the little <laughs> drawer that I had it all in before is not going to fit all this stuff. I feel like I, I have more stuff out now than I did before somehow but it's all part of the process it's all part of the journey <laughs> so thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a like and a comment and i will see you again in my next one bye